Hi, this is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com. In this video, you will learn how to make a tie and a collar. This video is dedicated to David Larua. Thank you, David, and all contributing members for your support. Also, check out this other video we have to make a collar with a bow tie. To make this tie and collar, we need rectangular pieces of paper. It is very easy to make them from a square. We fold in half, then we fold in quarter, We cut one of these sections, this will be good for the tie, and if we cut another section like that, fold it in half, and cut it, we have the perfect size for the collar. The proportion is 1 by 4 for the tie, 1 by 2 for the collar. For a white collar, we place the color of the paper facing up. For a colored tie, we place the color of the paper facing down. Making the color is very simple. We make a fold at the center. We are going to make a pinch mark at the center on the raw edge. Now we are going to make a fold about here, bringing this corner to that pinch mark. And we bring the right corner to meet this. We rotate and we have the collar. To begin the tie, we are going to make a pinch mark at the right side here, right at the center. Now we are going to make an X on the left side. Bring the left edge to meet the upper edge. Bring the left edge to meet the lower edge. This will be a vertical fold, connecting the top and bottom ends of the X. That creates a square here. Unfold, and now we are going to make a fold at the center of that X. The left edge aligns with this crease. We will make a fold along here, bring the lower edge up to the center. The guideline is the pinch mark here and the center of the X. And now we bring the top edge to meet the central edge. We have two vertical folds here. We make sure that we reinforce them as mountain folds. We are going to bring them together to make a crease right at the center. We make sure that that ballet fold is on the side that the paper is open. So we have that ballet fold. We fold the right flap to the left right on that crease. We will make two folds, one here and one here, bringing the corners to the center. unfold and press so that we inside reverse fold. Now 
Now we are going to bring the long flap to the right and the short flap also to the right. We have created four corners. One, two, three, four. We make a fold along here, bring this edge to the center. Repeat here. And these two corners will go to the back. The paper is thick. We need a little bit of force. Now we hold each flap with one hand and we pull the flaps apart. Turn it over. We fold these corners to the center. We are going to fold this so that this corner fits into this pocket. We pinch mark here at the center and bring these corners up to the center. Unfold and inside reverse fold. Now we unfold these flaps and then we're going to bring these flaps up and we follow the creases that we already have there. We are going to make a crease connecting this corner to this corner. So we press here and push from the back and flatten. We have that crease there. We make a fold along here. Bring this folded edge to this edge. This is a knot. We keep it on this side and we're going to turn the collar over. So we're going to raise these flaps and Place the tie right at the center, as far as it goes. We can turn it over and rotate it. And these flaps, fold them to the back, catching the wings of the tie. To make a card, take a letter size piece of paper, card stock, and we can fold it in half. And cut it in half, this way. For a card that opens vertically, we can fold the paper in half. and cut it this way. Then we can paste the tie onto the card. Stay tuned here in YouTube, subscribe for more video tutorials, and also remember that you're invited to visit at origamispirit.com. There is always a blog post related to the videos posted here. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. See you next time. Bye.